early in the season and late in the day when we arrived at the museum. We just happened to drive by it. I decided I wanted to stop. As we were leaving the main building, I got a couple of pictures of this uh, kerosene storage device. It's called a Bowser. I'd always heard the term, but never had a thing to connect it to. And this is my favorite blacksmith shop. There's several on the grounds, but this one is set up to actually do demos. And this is a cone that the blacksmith would use to make rings for like wheel hubs. And this is just one picture of all the tools that the blacksmith had to be repaired for himself or others. There's a couple of cones in this picture. Actually, there's a couple of everything in this blacksmith shop. Scattered here amongst the uh, trash at the bottom of the blacksmith shop is a steak anvil. And here are a couple of patterns for making bellows. There are just so many items that it's hard to describe how many. There's actually three anvils in this picture alone. And here in the coal bin is a blower. This blower is uh, quite the thing for the guy who wants to be a blacksmith. Having that makes your blacksmith shop a lot easier to use. This is uh, harness work, and these are the items that he would have had brought into the shop to be repaired or brought in as scrap because steel was hard to find. They'd recycle steel much more often than what you'd think of today. Every little bit was used over and over and over. As you can see, the wheelwright and the blacksmith worked closely together. Making tires was a full-time job. This is a grindstone. We've seen these before. I'm working on one now. This is a stake anvil, mostly used as a tinsmith's tool. And this is a big anvil. It's called a bridge anvil. Hobart V. Haggard was a postman and harness maker in the town of Persia, Tennessee. You can read the description here. He was an interesting fellow. He set up this harness shop, and his son later worked in the harness shop with him. Lots of leatherworking tools. Now we're in the wheelwright shop. This is a really fascinating place. I've always been interested in wheels. Lots of patterns for making different size fellows. That's the bit that you see on the wheel at the bottom of the picture. These are the hubs. That's the hubs that the rings the blacksmith made on the cone fit over. This is a treadle lathe for making spokes. And here's a ring roller for making rims. And on the wall are ads and fellow patterns and wheel rim patterns, just all kinds of tools. Another view, there's a partially completed wheel in the front of the picture. And you can see hubs with spokes on them. This is a tire shrinker. When they made the tires, Sometimes the tires were a little bit too big for the rim, so they'd put it in the machine and shrink it. More devices for making wheel rims. And this final picture, this is a big tub-based grinder. This would be more of a factory operation. I don't think you'd see many of these as a home wheelwright. 